So here's another video that I feel like I need to show you guys. Virginia's moderate governor admits abortion bill allows babies to be killed after birth. So maybe my brain didn't want to accept that that was being said, but this is actually what's happening. So babies born, if you want to kill them, you could. Sometimes when you cover the actions of pro abortions you become concerned that you are caricaturing their position given the logical and scientific literacy of the pro abort position. That is hard, but still you don't want to do what the left does to us in building a straw man, soaking it in kerosene and setting it alight. More and more though, I'm convinced that caricaturing their position isn't even possible. For instance, just a short while ago, I posted on a bill being sponsored by Pravali, the woman, Virginia Delegate Kathy Trent. The bill removes all current restrictions on third trimester abortions and permits abortion even while the birth is taking place. Eliminates the requirement that an abortion in the second trimester of pregnancy and prior to the third trimester be performed in the hospital. The bill eliminates all the procedures and process including the performance of an ultrasound required to affect a woman's informed written consent to the performance of an abortion. However, the bill does not change the requirement that a woman's informed written consent be first obtained. The bill eliminates the requirement that Two other physicians verify that a third trimester abortion is necessary to prevent the woman's de death or impairment of her mental or physical health, as well as the need to find that any such impairment to women's health would be substantial and irremedi irremediable. The bill also removes lang language classifying facilities that perform five or more first trimester abortions per month in hospitals for as hospitals for the purpose of defining the regulation established changing the minimum standards for hospitals. If the woman's sick or something or she's unable to they can just kill kill the baby. It doesn't I mean the baby has not even lived a life, has not even experienced anything. The woman has, I mean, which life is much more important? I don't, I, is just me? Like, this bill would remove the following statutes trap or targeted regulations of abortion providers, removing language classifying facilities that perform five or more first trimester abortions per month as hospitals. It would repeal Virginia's informed consent mandatory ultrasound and 24 hour delay. It would repeal the requirement that second trimester abortions be performed in a hospital licensed by the State Department of Health. It would repeal the requirement for two additional physicians in cases of third trimester abortions. Delegate Tran. Yes, sir. How late in a pregnancy would your bill apply if a physician would simply willing to certify that, that the uh, continuation of the pregnancy would impair the mental health of, of the woman? How, how late are we talking about? In well, so... So the way the suggestion that we've um, made in the bill is to say it's in the third uh, trimester and at the, you know, with the certification of the physician. So so how late in the third trimester would you be able to do, to do that? You know, I, it's very unfortunate that our, the, our physicians, uh, our witnesses were not able to attend today to speak specifically. No, no I'm talking that. about your bill. How, yeah, how, late, I mean, how late in the third trimester could a, a physician perform an abortion if he indicated it would impair the question. mental health of the of the woman or physical health okay okay i'm, I'm um, talking about the mental health so i mean through the third trimester 
The third trimester goes all the way up to 40 weeks. Okay, but to the end of the third trimester? Yep, I don't think we have a limit in the bill. So, um, where it's obvious that a woman is about to give birth, she has physical signs of, of, that she is about to give a birth, would that still be a point at which she could request an abortion if she was so certified? She's dilating. Uh, Mr. Chairman, that would be a, you know, a decision that the doctor, the physician, and the woman I would make I understand that. that. I'm point. asking if your bill allows that. My bill would allow that, yes. I certainly could have said a week from her due date, and that would have been the same answer, correct? That it's allowed in the bill, yes. Yes. And in addition to what you just represented, it, it, you, you do acknowledge that you substantially changed the standard by removing a couple of words here. Correct. From Substantially and irremediable. Oh, I'm sorry. Line, line 80. 80. Line 80. I'm sorry. Can you just tell me? I'm on, I'm on, I think I'm in the right part that you're looking line, at. As well. Line 80. Line 80. Jeez, you are changing the standard so why... under which the yeah. judgment yes. call is made. Okay, third trimester. For, it's only like for a, an abortion like at any point in the say third it? trimester. You're changing the standard. I'm changing the standard, yes. Okay, all right. Is she what a type of mental lunatic? health conditions would you Someone anticipate like would be uh, utilized by physicians yes. under these circumstances like, to this is determine a, that like, a, a child I'm, that is otherwise viable is worthy of an abortion? You know, I, is she a crazy bitch? I mean, again, I'm not a physician, so I can't make those calls as to when a physician would determine that uh, a woman's mental health is would you know I remember would, right. where they would be able to certify an abortion at that point but the doctor the physician wouldn't have any have to have to have any special specialized training in mental health to make that determination under your bill right under this bill no okay all right thank you delegate tran what what are some of the conditions that um a woman could be experiencing in a third trimester late term pregnancy uh, for which abortion and not delivery would be the optimal um, result to protect either her life or health or that of the, the child, if that's even an, an interest. But what, what would be the, what, is there any um, commonly accepted medical decision to terminate the pregnancy in the late term rather than deliver the, the child if the mother's health or um, life is actually in danger? Um, you know, Mr. Chairman, I am aware that there are certain medical conditions where that might be an option for um, the mother, and I would actually turn over to Galena from Mayroll to, to see if she has those specific uh, medical examples. Okay. Thank you. So, hi. I'm really short. That's okay. Um, I don't have a lot of specific examples because I'm not a, I'm not a physician. Um, I'm an attorney, so, um, and we unfortunately do not have the, phys the physicians could not be here today because they are seeing patients at the moment. I know that there are certain central nervous system anomalies that cannot be determined until later stages in the pregnancy. I also know that certain anomalies like the absence of um, certain Organs okay, and, that, or, so you're um, talking about the child. Now, let me just leave that out of the equation then. Sure. In terms of the health or life of the mother, what what conditions are there that can't be resolved by delivering the the child rather than uh, undergoing an abortion? Again, I am not a physician. Um, what I can point to a case that happened in Ireland. That's the first one that comes to my mind. Um, that I'm happy to find for you and um, send you the article about. Um, I can definitely send you that article. And if you'll give I me some it. time, I can um, ask our physicians to provide you with a list of maladies that. So, okay. Where it's obvious that a woman is about to give birth. She has a physical sign that she's about to give birth. She has physical signs she's about to give birth. Would that still be a point at which she could request an abortion if she was so certified? She is dilating. 
he asked. Miss Trayman, that would be a decision the doctor, the physician, and the woman would make at that point. Tran replied. I understand that, Gilbert replied. I'm asking you if your bill allows that. Tran replied, my bill would allow that. Yes. Just when you thought things couldn't get worse, Virginia Governor Northam was on radio, and the subject of the bill came up. no exception. There was a very contentious committee hearing yesterday when Fairfax County Delegate Kathy Tran made her case for lifting restrictions on third trimester abortions as well as other restrictions now in place. And she was pressed by a Republican delegate about whether her bill would permit an abortion even as a woman is essentially dilating, ready to give birth. And she answered that it would permit an abortion at that stage of labor. Do you support her measure and, and explain her answer. Yeah, and I'm, you know, I wasn't there, uh, Julie, and I, I certainly can't speak for uh, Delegate Tran, but um, I would tell you, one, uh, first thing I would say, this is why decisions such as this should be made by providers, uh, physicians, uh, and uh, the uh, mothers uh, and fathers that, that are involved. Um, there are, you know, when we talk about third trimester uh, abortions, these are done uh, with the consent uh, of obviously the, the mother, with the consent uh, of the physicians, more than one physician, by the way. Um, and it's done in cases where there may be severe deformities, there may be a, a, a fetus that's non-viable. So in this particular example, uh, if a mother is in labor, I can tell you exactly uh, what would happen. Um, the infant would be delivered. Uh, the infant would be kept comfortable. Uh, the infant would be resuscitated. If so, like, if they didn't have a perfect, picture-perfect baby or something, you know, like, let's say if you were born without skin, you would want to just be murdered flat. Like, you wouldn't want to be, like, no one would even try. You wouldn't want anyone to just not try. Is basically, they're saying just... We don't want it. Like people, is it selfish people? Is it like is that? It they go. Oh, the baby is not not good enough for me, so I'm just gonna toss it. If if that's what the uh, mother and the family desired, and then a discussion would ensue between the physicians and the mother. So, so I think this was really blown out of proportion. Uh, but again, we want the government not to be involved in these types of decisions. We want the decision to be made by uh, the the mothers and their providers. And and this is why, Julie, that legislators, most of whom are men, by the way, shouldn't be telling a woman what she should and shouldn't be doing with her body. And do you think multiple physicians should have to weigh in as is currently required? She's trying to lift that requirement. Well, I think it's always good to get uh, a second opinion and for, for at least two providers to be involved in that decision because these decisions shouldn't be taken lightly. And, mm -hmm. and so, you know, I, w I would certainly support more than one provider. All right. Let's uh, go back to the phones now uh, for the governor. We're going to talk now with uh, Mike, who's calling. I wasn't there, Julie, and I certainly can't speak for a delicate tran, delicate tran, but I will tell you one, the first thing I would say is this is why decisions such as this should be made by providers or physicians and mothers and fathers that are involved. When we talk about third trimester abortions, these are done with the consent of the mother, with the consent of the kid. More than one physician, by the way, and is done in case where there may be severe, severe deformities, where there may be a fetus that is non-viable.
All right. Uh. Yeah. Thanks for watching, and tell me how you feel about this. Comments that way. Um. Tools. <laughs>